Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to Hot Ready. This is J-Dub. Today, we're gonna do a little product spotlight. Um, I'm gonna do a quick video here on the Vortex Optics Crossfire Red Dot. So I've owned, this is my second uh, Crossfire that I've owned. Um, the other one's on a uh, Ruger 1022. This guy here is mounted on a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 pistol. And this little pistol is an absolute blast to shoot. I mean, it just rips. Um, I just run those cheap Remington Thunderbolts, you know, the box, the bricks of 500 and just, just let her eat. Um, the red dots are awesome for uh, kids, getting your kids on the gun and give them a target, they put the dot on it and they can just annihilate the targets, okay? It's really, really a good tool to get uh, get your kids out there and get them shooting with you. Um, you know, they can get frustrated trying to line up irons, especially real, really young. I mean, I can put my six-year-old daughter on this and she can just let her rip, man, uh, and actually hit the target. So. Vortex Crossfire Red Dot. Um, for all intensive purposes, I'm gonna say this is a $100 Red Dot. I got, the first one was just a little less than 100 and the second one was just a little over 100. Um, so for a $100 Red Dot, it's gonna be pretty hard to beat this guy. Uh, there's only one complaint that I have about this Red Dot and we'll get into that just a little bit later here. Um, so when you buy it, it comes, it'll just come in a nice little cardboard box like so. Uh, it comes with, comes with two mounts. It's got a lower, uh, one third mount, which they call the high mount, which is what you're going to use generally on like your AR style rifles. Uh, you can see the mount there. Um, nice mount. No complaints on the mount. It's a skeletonized mount, so it's not a solid block. Um, real nice mount. And it also comes with a low mount, which the low mount is what I use on uh, like the Ruger 1022. You're gonna use a low mount or any, any rifle like that. Um, if you look here at the mount, how the uh, the red dot mounts up onto that mount there. Uh, that's a pretty uh, like standard mount for like aim points. So any of the uh, aftermarket guys that make like really kick ass like QD mounts and stuff like that, you'll be able to use anything at the aim point. Uh, I think it's like the micro or something, I don't know. Uh, so anything that those aim points use, you'll be able to use uh, on that crossfire if you wanted to, if you wanted to high-end mount um, it's a 2 MOA dot okay and then one of the big things you know they advertise this red dot as parallax free um, I don't know if any red dots ever a hundred percent parallax free but the parallax on this is minuscule I mean it's as close to free as you can get, I think. Um, I've got some Trigicon MROs that, uh, you know, they've got more parallax in them than this. This little guy does. And you're talking a four or five hundred dollar red dot versus a hundred dollar red dot. Um, so the parallax on it is like almost non existent. Um, it's got a uh, 2032 battery that goes right there underneath the uh, illumination dial. You take the cap off there and there's a 2032 battery in there. And like I said, uh, it's got a 50,000 hour runtime, which is like years. Uh, so the runtime, the battery life on this thing is really good. Um, uh, you can't hardly ask for a better battery life than that. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, it comes also with a lens covers it's a rubber mount i don't even have it out here i thought i had one out here but uh it comes with lens covers 
you take it off and the lens covers come with with you um so you'll end up just leaving them in your range bag and uh, losing them or whatever um this just sits in the safe without lens covers not a big deal i'm sure if you were really concerned with it i'm sure there's a aftermarket or hell even vortex might even offer them um like flip up lens covers that'd be pretty sweet uh i've never really looked but i'm sure they're out there it'd be pretty simple to put flip ups on that but uh um, it comes with a cleaning cloth. It comes with, you know, basically everything to mount the uh, the mounts with it. Um, it comes with an extra set of screws for the mount. So there's four extra screws in there. Uh, just just a, ready to go there out of the box. Um, it's got 11 brightness settings here. <clears throat> Zero through 11. There's two. Uh, night vision settings and then all the way to 11 uh, <clears throat> plenty bright in the daylight never had any issues where you know you couldn't make out the red dot um, talking about the illumination dial here this leads me to my only complaint about this thing now so say you're going out and you know you want to go like right to 11 or maybe 10 you got to run you can't just go right back to it you got to run starting you know at your night visions all the way through three four five six seven eight nine ten to get there and then same way with going off like say you were at 10 or 11 let's just go with 11 say you're at 11 you want to turn it off you can't go to off you got to flip all the way back through um all the way back through your settings so it'd be cool if, and I don't know, I'm not an engineer, maybe they can't. I don't know why, my Trigicons I can, I can run all the way through the dials, um, no problem. And then also, so it, like I said, it'd be awesome if they, if you could run the dial both ways. You didn't have to go all the way through the settings and back down through them to turn it off and on. Um, another thing I'd like to see maybe would be like a, an off, somewhere like or in between four and five or something some way mid somewhere mid dial um so you don't have to scroll through everything to get to where you want uh this is just on a fun gun it's not on like a home defense rifle um if it were it'd be always on anyway but uh so that's my leads me to my only complaint on this thing is the uh the dial how you got to run through everything Elevation and windage dials here, one on top, one on the side. Um, they've got an O-ring on them, so they're waterproof. Uh, you know, your standard uh, elevation dial there. Um, the caps have a tool built into them, so you don't have to have a screwdriver with you. You can sight that in or move it if you needed to. Um, Kind of, kind of mushy on the on the uh, clicks on those, but uh, you know once you set them, you're pretty much done with them. Definitely usable. But uh, for a hundred bucks, guys, if you're looking for a red dot, pretty, pretty, pretty hard to beat these uh, crossfires. Um, if you're not familiar with the Vortex. Uh, they have what they consider or call an unconditional lifetime warranty. They'll replace these things uh, No matter what you did to them. I, I've seen where guys have run over them with their trucks uh, Binoculars or range finders or whatever, you know run over them with their trucks and broke them dogs chewed them up uh, What have you? Vortex will definitely take care of you um <clears throat> And that's uh that's transferable too. So if you sell it or if you if you buy a used one, that warranty covers you. Um, I think I I've never personally had to uh, deal with Vortex warranty, and I own several different Vortex products: binoculars, uh, spotting scope, rangefinder, rifle scopes. Um, like I said, I've got these two crossfires. I have a Spark on another AR. Um, you just hard to hard to beat the uh, the vortex line of products. 
Um, really good, really good. And they've got, you know, through their scopes and everything, it's a, it's a wide range of, of prices. Um, so, you know, cheap scopes all the way up to really expensive scopes. Um, and everything I've used from them has been, been really good. So, <clears throat> like I said, guys, Check out these Vortex Optic Sparks. If you're looking for a red dot to throw on a 22 or anything, definitely don't overlook these guys. Um, let's do a, uh, so I can run you through here. Let me put you on, we'll just go right to 11 here. I'll show you how crisp this dot is. Let me move my hand out of the way a little bit. So you can see the dot in there. Not ideal, but you can see it. Uh, really, really crisp dot. Um, I've got a slight stigmatism, and the dot's still crisp and clear for me. Um, a lot of times, guys that are seeing a major starburst on their red dots, it's usually their own eyes. But uh, you know, some of the cheaper red dots, they are going to have, they are going to be starry and. Um, you know, just like weird shapes and whatnot. This is a perfect, perfect dot. Um, absolutely zero complaints on the uh, clarity of the red dot. Uh, parallax, you know, like I said, uh, it's parallax free, which is a big deal on these red dots. Uh, so anyway, guys, Check out Vortex Optics. Appreciate you guys for uh, watching the video. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down, leave a comment. Appreciate everybody. You guys take care.